As U.S. military and civilian agencies struggled with the immediate challenges of disaster relief, Barack Obama summoned his last two predecessors to the White House to launch a fundraising drive for the long-term recovery of Haiti. The two leaders with me today will ensure that this is matched by a historic effort that extends beyond our government because America has no greater resource than the strength and the compassion of the American people. I know a lot of people want to send blankets or water. Just send your cash. One of the things that uh, President I'll do is to make sure your money is spent wisely. Obama lauded Bush for his funding of global AIDS prevention and Asian tsunami relief, but made no mention of his predecessor's botched response to Hurricane Katrina, the worst U.S. natural disaster of his presidency, or of Bush's helping to ouster Haiti's former elected president, Jean-Bertrand Aristide. George W. Bush, among the Haitians that I know and who I speak to, who are among the majority of the poor in that country, absolutely revile him. Uh, they will see this, they will view this with mistrust. It is not the right signal to send. It will create more disunity in Haiti. President Bush. But by bringing Bush back to the White House for the first time since he left office, Obama may have sought to defuse some domestic critics who've accused him of trying to capitalize on the earthquake response to shore up his sagging job approval ratings. Meanwhile, another Clinton, the U.S. Secretary of State, landed in Port-au-Prince to be greeted by her diplomats and aid workers, but also running into complaints about how Washington has been handling its lead role in the international relief operation. A French plane reportedly carrying a field hospital was diverted while other aircraft were allowed to land. The French are now denying that they filed a formal protest with the Americans. After meeting their president, Clinton assured Haitians that her government was not dictating its will. We will work with your government under the direction of President Preval to assist in every way we can. But it's the U.S. that's now likely to become the single largest source of Haiti aid money. And former President Clinton says the U.S. must support the country over the long term. The Haitians want to just amend their development plan to take account of what's happened in Port-au-Prince and West, figure out what they got to do about that, and then go back to implementing it. But it's going to take a lot of help and a long time. Thank you, John. A project that will demand the support of Americans amid their own economic slump. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Washington.